this is Hengis from House of Hengis Comics and welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at uh, two games, Step and Schlep, as part of Operation Uranus. We're looking at General uh, Dumitrescu's 3rd Romanian Army near Ostrov and a battle in which the victory conditions are that you can retreat uh, without pursuit. So there's a lot to play for here. Conditions are very good at the moment. Uh, the weather looks fine. And unlike at the hospital, they haven't deteriorated yet. And I say yet. A small detachment or Romanian company holds an outpost uh, just in front of a frozen river. Colonel Balog, the outpost commander, wants answers, but he's getting nothing. The last he heard was that uh, German troops were in the area, but the only platoon that's anywhere near them was Corporal Steiner and his reconnaissance men. Steiner's a soldier's soldier. He doesn't like officers. He doesn't like the Reich. All he loves and cares about are his men. In the village itself, all is quiet, although there's an uncanny and unnerving sense of something, some foreboding coming. Equipment's frozen, it's useless. Then all of a sudden, a huge deafening screech and Katusha's fire. The whole ground shakes. The Soviets are coming. Explosions land everywhere. Balog is thrown onto the ground as T-34s and two infantry companies disgorge from the mist. The reconnaissance platoon, which has been sitting there eating what little food it has, suddenly looks up and sees the horde descending. It quickly radios, but the lines have been cut by shell fire and decides today we better run. And they hasten towards the river, which is frozen. At the same point, Steiner returns from patrol with his platoon. He senses this chaos. This is something big. And he races up towards the HQ. At that point, out of the sky, a hawk sees its prey and dives. The yak attacks. It fires, but is ineffective. Steiner's men throwing themselves onto the ground. The Romanians open fire, smoke. But then all of a sudden, the weather suddenly becomes colder. Ranges and distances become difficult to discern. And the Romanians basically look frightful as the Russians rush towards the bridge and towards the frozen river itself. In the meantime, while little Romanian reserves turn up, this is a captured 76mm gun with very little ammunition and two captured armoured cars. The Russians come under sustained fire and start to take casualties, but on they come, determined to be at their foe. Revenge is all they... They shout, they scream, revenge, 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 and come on and on and on towards the Romanian position. They start crossing the island, basically making saves, but several fall through the ice. Others risk crossing across the main river and fall through. The tanks break through across the road, and Steiner's running to the, to the front. It's looking pretty difficult. Immediately, the Romanians basically sense there's going to be a huge fight, and they are engaged all of a sudden by a screaming mass of Russian infantry. A desperate battle now takes place in front of the river. Back and forth it goes, the Russians determined, showing no quarter. Romanians fall, Russians fall. The weather gets worse, visibility drops. It's freezing, it's freezing cold. A wind has picked up. The ground is now littered with dead. As on come the T-34s, remorseless, pressing. The infantry itself, the Romanians counterattack with everything they've got. Balog is killed. And Konstantin takes over. He's desperate. The yak appears again in, in a weather window and shoots up the trucks. It's looking bad, it's looking grim. But then the, the Romanians with sheer bravado drive off the first Russian company. 
but they've taken very heavy casualties. Now the second company begins its assault, crossing the, the river and basically is under sustained fire from Steiner, who uses every tactical ounce of acumen he has as the T-34, T-34s open fire. Steiner senses his moment. The tanks have passed within striking range. He launches his men out, lays a few anti-tank mines, and the first T-34 is blown up. His commander, sensing that these are experienced soldiers, pulls out, hits his tanks into reverse, and they fall back from Steiner, who immediately screams to his men to get back into cover. And then more mist, and more snow, and freezing conditions. The Romanians have been victorious. They can retreat. They can retreat without molestation, or so they believe. And so it begins. With no trucks, they've only got the horse transports to basically take them across the open snow. Conditions have deteriorated to such an extent, it's, it's appalling. And so what now begins is a series of 12 turns using battle deck system cards and all manner of um, randoms and things like that. Uh, a full report will come from the commander listing what has occurred. But in short, they lost a huge number of equipment and animals, basically. Having started with 50% of the company when they set out, they got lost, they found cover, they ran into Russians, all manner of things occurred. No combat action, but General Winter claimed many lives. On arrival at the hospital, five hours later than they expected, they were down to 20 men and Steiner's platoon of 20 men too. Out of a starting strength of 120 men, General Winter also made its kill. Well, we hope you enjoyed our narrative of this particular battle and the, the schlep towards the knoll and uh, the hospital. That battle will continue and they will be coming up soon, as well as a Cross of Iron series, which we will be producing intermittently. In the meantime, I hope you can continue to support our work and thanks for the support so far. Please uh, do subscribe if you can. That helps a lot. And uh, again, we're wishing you a very happy 2017. Stay warm, stay safe. Best wishes, back soon. Over and out, Hengist.